G'day, Alistair here again. In this video, I thought it would be helpful if we looked at how we can connect up controls to build data-aware applications in the VCL. Let's start by creating a new VCL application. And to that, I'm going to add a data module. And our data module is where we're going to add our um, data connection components. And let's have a quick look at the data explorer. And we'll see we've got a number of databases we can connect to. And within these, there might be interfaces, the one I want. There might be a number of connections that we can connect to. Now I can just drag and drop that onto our data module, but I'm going to do it manually. But first, let's bring up the connection diffs. Now this, this file uh, is for these connections. And if I for instance, open uh, SQLite. We'll see there are two connections there, and there's there's one, and there's the other. So this is, this lists all the all different connections, and you can um, add additional connections by right-clicking Add New Connection. You can distribute one of these files with your application to specify all your connections to the database. Now, rather than just dragging and dropping that employee database, I am going to add a FD connection. And if I double click on it, I can specify our employees database and it's settled that up for us. And we'll call it con employee for our employee connection. And we'll see there are lots of different query components, but we want a FD query. And it's automatically hooked up our connection. And I'll double click and We'll specify some SQL. I can execute it to verify that it's okay. And you'll notice it came up with a login prompt, which I don't want. And let's give it a meaningful name. And we'll also need a data source, which we'll hook up to our query. Now, the data source, some people put them on forms. I prefer to put them on the uh, data module. Um, it's a, just a, a matter of preference. Sometimes you want to access some of these events uh, to be able to access properties on, on various controls and things, in which case you put it on, on the form. Let's put a DB grid on the form. And I'll just stretch it out and we'll throw anchors on so that it resizes nicely. And we'll need to specify the data source, uh, which we can't at the moment because we need to use our unit 20. And there, there is our data source spe specified. But we've got no data as yet because the active property is false. Now, in the VCL, there are two ways of connecting up controls to your data. The first is using data aware controls, such as this DB grid and other things like db text db edit edit uh, db combo box and so on so if we grab a db text and throw it on our form we'll see we've got a data source property and a data field now this is generally the way i prefer uh, to bind sort of data aware stuff in the vcl but there is another way which i do use and that is using live bindings. So I'm just going to throw a plain label onto our form. Now, live bindings is the only way you can bind controls in FireMonkey. But in the VCL, we've got both, both of these options. So I'm just going to go bind visually. And here's our label. And if I want to connect up the full name to our caption, I just drag between the two. And we'll see if it's created this link. And I'll just leave that open. And we also see that that has created two new controls. Our binding source, which I'll just rename to BS employee. And our binding list. Now the binding source is very much like the data source. It's just an intermediary component for connecting up our queries or um, data sets to controls. And the binding list is a container that contains all of the definitions for the bindings. 
so label one with caption down to our um, full name field and we can create a new binding and if I go property to field and we'll need a control as well so let's throw on a an edit and so for our component we want to come down and select our edit one and component property scroll all the way down and grab text you can see we can bind to just about anything data source is our bind source employee and of course full name for the field and you see that's uh, automatically hooked up and we also see that our edit one has been hooked up to full name and if I click on these are the different bindings in here so if you need to, need to manually uh, change them it's, it's fairly, fairly easy to select them and change them or grab them from the binding list but that's pretty much all I wanted to show you for this video uh, we can run that and confirm that it does indeed work so this is a, a hopefully a helpful introduction into hooking up data data aware controls in the VCL.